Hello everyone, and welcome to the Sacred Tears True. Originally made by Elfin Nuts, and then translated into English by New Media, I believe it's a... Uh, it's a Japanese RPG made with one of the RPG makers, I forget which one, but I played the demo and it sports quite the entertaining battle system, among entertaining everything else. It's the story of the young thieves of Genocide City, and we'd best start a new game. says there we need to we need to select three cards and that will decide how we act this turn. So I'm going to go with the normal attack, evade and a special attack. Well he was kind of rubbish. I mean he, he he defended, and then evaded, and then defended, and I, I'm, I'm not sure what he wanted to accomplish. Anyway, oh shoot, what? I should have told him my name before I knocked him out. Ah. Uh, yes, because, well, how else are they going to know that they could kill one of the master thief wannabe? Hey, look, they actually bought ladders. You stop right there! Hey, you can these guys. Oh. <laughs> We've no chance of capturing her. And make no mistake, you won't get me either. Now, this ring isn't too valuable, right? Uh, I bet the labor to make it costs more than it's worth. Well, have fun looking for it. <laughs> and remember, I am the Shadow Knight. From now on, the night belongs to me. Doing? Where are the thieves? Well, they threw the ruby down there and ran. Idiots! Throwing the fake is the oldest trick in the book. Now get after them. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Uh, hey, the ladder. Well, they may be prepared, but they're not, not the most thoughtful of guards, are they? Ah, uh, Lieutenant. Meet Leon. This is all there is. Where are the others? Squads 2 and 3 are already searching, sir. So it's still not enough. There's a unit assigned to security for the Irwin Company Art Gallery. The Irwin Gallery? It was on Colonel Delwood's orders. Well, in the meantime, our National Gallery has been attacked. Uh, we'll be the laughing stock of the town. Lieutenant? When Art Gallery was raided, it was Shadow. Uh, Shadow. Um, the thief got away. But there's no time to be chasing petty thieves. Call back all of the units. Where is Celia? The Colonel Celia ran into Red Celestial and gave pursuit. Red Celestial? What's going on tonight? Very well. We'll leave that to Celia. We'll pursue the intruder targeting Floor 3. Floor 3 was rejected by magic. Seriously in general. You cannot let him escape. Yeah, sir, yes, sir. Well, 
we're off to a action-packed start. Except for this person. I was close. So close. Enjoying the wind? <laughs> what is it? I don't know. You don't know? Yeah, it's just... It's the city. Somehow it feels heavy tonight. The city feels heavy? Yes, but bring it on. I wouldn't have it any other way. What fun would it be without a challenge? You're gonna get more than a challenge! So much more. And it will be your doing. Hey, what's with the poster outside? What about it? Uh, what is will take any job supposed to mean? We're not gophers. We might as well be gophers. And that sign was expensive. Private investigator's million is covered by the gopher poster. And that's right. It was so expensive that we haven't finished paying off the loan for it. Anyway, as I always say, we need to pick and choose our jobs. You know what this is, right? That fake ring? That's right, because someone went and threw the real one as a distraction. I'm uh, sorry? Hey, what happened to my sword collection? One of the swords is missing. We ate it yesterday. Remember that fish you enjoyed so much? 
Don't kid around. That sword collection is as important to me as life itself. I'm glad it's not more important. No, I don't feel so guilty about pawning it. I'll buy it back with my share. Your share of what? Your share of our takings? I hate to tell you this, but standing around arguing doesn't increase our income. If anything, it reduces it. Your sword collection, too. Well, you can't sell any more of my swords. Then we can't be picky about jobs we take on. Alright. So, what job do we have? It's a missing person case. Surely that's a private investigator enough for you? It's not a missing person, it's a missing cat! That's right, a gold-coloured cat. The reward is 20,000 fill. Pretty good, right? 20,000 for a cat. Some people have more money than sense. It's not my pride as a private investigator that's real wounded. It's my pride as Shadow Knight the Thief. Well, it should be. We can't eat pride! Or do you want to give it a try? Alright already. Okay, so yes, there's a stamina meter in this. You'd better not run about too much before you go into combat, otherwise your health will be reduced. <clears throat> so, I probably don't need to see this, uh, need to say this, but this game uses heart and effort, also goddesses smile. We don't need to actually press the use button on most things, just walking over them. Just walking over to them will be enough to pick them up. Which is wonderful. So, yeah, there's a pretty long demo of the game available. If you want to try that, it is quite good if you like what you see so far. And, well, oh, clear chip. Ah, chips are very... No, 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 it's not chips. It's been a while since I played the demo, but this is what we want. But it's blocked by the chair, so we walk around with the chair. Accessory. Uh, Fenakite. Fenacite. Uh, this is definitely Seal's room, isn't it? And... That safe has been here ever since we moved in. Even I can't own it. Bugs the heck out of me wondering what's inside. And down here in the corner, there's a holy magic book. <laughs> holy magic books increase the level of Sayana's holy magic. Each magic technique can be increased up to level 4. With each level increase, Sienna advances one point towards the next magic class. Yeah, this... Well, this game is quite unique in a lot of things it does, in my opinion. So, let's check our menu, shall we? Now, in the menu, if we press Shift, we can get a skit. We need to find bigger jobs. What have you say? We have to... S you have to stop accepting jobs before we know what they're about. Come to think of it, Cabbage is much more expensive than it used to be. You're not even listening to me. And then there's our status. Aha. Uh -huh. Now... <laughs> we... We can improve our skills by using a uh, bonus point system. It's a bit like uh, Parasite Eve, now I think about it. Uh, so we can... Assign points, and we can actually take away points at any time we choose. So it's well, your your abilities are very modular. Uh, Sayana gets less points than Sale, though. Uh, let's just put one point in magic and one in judge for now. Uh, HP. Mm. Let's, let's spread it around a bit. Attack. Evade. Evade is quite nice, because if you evade, I think it was, was it two or three times in a row, then you get to counter-attack automatically. I think that was how it is. Like I said, it's been a while. And then down here, my short sword, we can equip accessories, which modify sales skills. Accessories become active at level 2, and from level 4, will be active even when the accessory is unequipped. Note, the skill modifier of an accessory differs depending on its location on sale's sword. So we can equip this Fenakite to attack, defense, or evasion. Let's equip it to evasion for now. Yep, and it gets 
defense plus one evasion. Brilliant. Aha! Now, as you see, we use a uh, card based battle system, and here's where we can choose our general deck. Uh, of course, this is only the cards that we'll start with up here. They'll be re rolled and re rolled and re rolled throughout the battle, so. I don't see that much point in changing this, because it will never stay the same at all. Unless there's something that you know, really good that you want. Something very specific. And of course we can save. Just like that. Any old RPG Maker game. It only has three slots so far. Uh, yeah, an orange is a material. Yes, we could probably craft something with that. Uh, sale balls are usually used for just selling, as you should expect. And herbs, goddess smile. Um, forgot what that does. Uh, why don't we use a holy magic book to improve Santa's heal? Why not? Okay, well, let's get going. Let's take a good look outside. There are cats all over town, how about we just grab one and paint it gold? Let's start by searching the suburbs. Sometimes I wish you wouldn't just ignore me like that. Oh, uh, hey! This is Fortune! Okay, and what's this? Yeah. So you see the chapter name up in the top right. Uh, the, yeah. Well, the name card on the right. And the map location in the lower left. Now down here is Arith Hey Seal Sail. Uh, look, I got the storage key. Now we can go in any time we want. Uh, well, thanks. Although we currently know nothing about that. <laughs> now there's a fair bit to do in this game. I mean, there's a lot of stuff to explore and collect like this. There's a banana peel. Yes, even banana peels may be useful. I was a hunter too back in the day. I've traded the bow for a staff now. So you're a magic user? Hmm. Ah, sorrel flower. Now, there's not that much to do inside the actual houses at the moment. These guys must have some serious dough. Yes, yes, we should be chasing that cat, shouldn't we? Well, this is an RPG, I've got to explore. Oh, hey there, self-proclaimed sword guru. Looks like you have some combat experience, but do you know the secret technique? The secret technique is predicting your opponent's cards. Would you like to learn how to? I actually already know how to do that, but... Well... Teach me something if you can. Gonna slice you a new one. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, don't use up all your good cards right away or you'll regret it, as you're about to find out. There are two ways to predict your opponent's attacks. First is the opponent's card colours. Cards can be red, blue, or green. Each colour has a meaning. Red might be a strong attack, SA. Blue might be a normal attack. Green is probably something else. So you can predict from the colours kind of card will be played. But remember, these are probabilities, not certainties. See, these cards are red, so you would expect strong attacks, but the card colours might be just bluffs. Lucky you, you live to fight another round. Oh, wonderful. But beware. The opposite can happen, and that can be fatal. The accuracy is about 80%, but increases with your agility level. Low agility means low accuracy. You can't see their stats, but consider your opponent's agility too. See that flashing caution? That means the opponent could have a level 4 card in their hand. You can't tell which is the 4, though. The cards are all green. It's fairly safe. But if they're red, it doesn't show how many either. So this could happen. But it might have been a bluff. What's more, only bosses will see. Special attack. If a 
cross signals between turns, and that's when you know there's a level 4 special attack coming. But again, it's just a probability and it could be wrong. Sometimes a level 4 special attack is definitely something, uh, definitely coming, and there is a tell. If an unusual and obvious tell happens, then there's a level 4 special attack, for sure. I keep saying special attack, it should be strong attack, and if that happens, one of those green cards is definitely false. In this case, there will always be a level 4 special attack there somewhere. In this case, there's a high probability that the second card is a level 4 special attack. Since you know what's coming, you can use a strong card to defend against it. The system I just taught you is always consistent and applies once per turn. They might all be bluffs, but you can predict with high accuracy when there is a matching tell. The red card indicates a strong attack. The opponent's tail indicates a four strong attack. The caution indicates a four card. So the third attack must be a four strong attack. But while the probability is very low, it still could have been a fake. Predicting your opponent's moves is key to using your cards effectively. Now then, on to the next one. Let's talk about the slightly less exciting Defense and Evade cards. Defend or Evade successfully twice in a row. Ah, so it was Defend or Evade. Nice, good. To score a bonus attack or three times for a special attack. What's more, these counter attacks are unblockable. That goes for you and the enemy. Counter attacks can turn the tide of a battle, so be sure to make use of them. Now, let's see you put these skills to use. Let's fight. Okay, then. Uh, let's see. Oh, there was a button you can use. Press to get rid of that. What was it? Uh, wait, no, it was Let's just defend as best we can. Oh, it was both of those! Only one damage, good. Ah, let's... yeah, let's use some magic here. I think a good attack is better than an okay defense in this case. So let's try. Yeah. <laughs> Sienna leveled up, so she gets some bonus points. Pretty good. Is that all you have to say? Good day to you, my trusty apprentice. I don't remember becoming your apprentice. Uh, yeah, well, he changed his tune easily, didn't he? Ooh, chest. It's locked. It's locked, and we can't open it yet because we're out in daytime, when it's... <laughs> when it's night time, it'd be free. There's a cat up on the roof. I think you can get up there through the second floor window. That is correct. Let's go immediately. But first of all, we need to call a day because... Well, we're almost 24 minutes in. See you next time, everyone. Sacred Tears True. It's going to be quite enjoyable. The demo was quite long, I was quite surprised about that, but, uh, well, it's good for the game, I think. Anyway, see you then. Bye-bye!